jelly beans. So I am currently in Columbus, Georgia. It is Sunday and today we are going back home. We're staying in a hotel and we're about to go to my aunt's house to eat some breakfast and spend time with family before we go. Good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. 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 Say good morning. Morning. Say good morning. <laughs> we came to Walmart to grab some snacks for the road and this is like the toughest decision of the day. Are you sad to be leaving? Me too. So before leaving, I have to check if I can find my charger for my phone. Last night we were all at my aunt's house hanging out at the clubhouse. I mean, this is an apartment complex. And we were all hanging out in the like apartment complex clubhouse. And I think I left my charger in there. So hopefully I find it. If not, then I'm screwed. But her apartment complex is so beautiful. Like there's a freaking lake in the middle of it and this long bridge. It's such a beautiful day. Sad that it's gonna be wasted driving to Florida. Guys, I found it. <laughs> I can't believe I found it. It's been there since last night. It was in, in the exact same spot. And so was this little star on the back of my phone. It was just sitting on that chair. This is for Mateo's birthday and I always keep it there. I'm so out of breath because we ran all the way over here. And it's kind of cold and I'm just wearing this like bodysuit. I forgot my cardigan in the car. At least you're not sweating. True boo. True. I already said my goodbyes and I have to say them again. So I'm double sad. 24 hours later. Good morning guys. So it's the next day. Uh, I got home obviously. I'm in Orlando in my car. I actually just dropped off Mateo with Karen and I'm on my way to get my lashes touched up. So I barely got any sleep last night because I was editing and now I'm exhausted and about to go get my lashes done so I'll probably fall asleep. But this time it shouldn't take as long as it did last time because uh, I am just getting them touched up. Hopefully this time I don't get a parking ticket. I'm not gonna vlog going in there this time because you saw that last time, so I will see you guys after I get them touched up. And they're done! So this time I got them a little bit more natural. Last time they were really full and they looked really good, but they kind of looked like too much on my face when I didn't have makeup on. So I wanted to get them more natural and see how I like them. And I really love this. Um, they look really wispy because there's some long ones and shorter ones. So yeah, I don't know. I really, really like this a lot. But now we're off to Karen and Klaus' house to go get Mateo. I actually fell asleep there. I was so exhausted from yesterday's trip that I fell asleep instantly. And so it only felt like it took like five minutes, which is a good thing. All right, we made it with some Panera bread. Are you ready to go home? Oh, okay. You're grown. Let's put on your shoes. <sighs> Look at him. Leaving a mess. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. I'm trying to put on your shoes. <laughs> Come on. Okay, now we're ready. Where the heck did you get that go, from? Go. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> okay, keep your lime. <laughs> Come on. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Come on, baby. Where are you going? I think you're so independent now. Come on. Who do you think you are? Okay, I'm gonna leave without you. <laughs> I 
Did I scare you? All right, we're heading out. We're going home. I have so much to do at home, you guys. And I still haven't opened my Alexa that I got like a couple days ago. And I don't know why, but ever since I woke up this morning, I've been looking forward to open Alexa, so. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God, you scared me! I know, I saw you vlogging, so I was like, I'm gonna go scare her. I saw you from like the camera, but you still scared me, like my heart dropped. Oh, okay. <laughs> See you guys. Bye! Guys, we're home, and all I wanna do is take a nap. I wanna take a nap so bad. I'm so exhausted. And my bed doesn't even have any bed sheets. They're dirty, I have to like wash these. There's some in the washing machine. All of these are dirty. Literally all my bed sheets are dirty because I had so many people in my house during the last like two weeks and they used all my bed sheets so now I have to wash them all. Guys, there is a package at my door to lighten my mood. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my God, excuse me. Ooh. It's here, my first HelloFresh box <laughs> oh, here we go. Guys, I am so excited to be partnering with HelloFresh today. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. I've never done anything like this on my channel. So this is Cooking with Jillian episode one. Cooking videos are always so requested on my channel and I don't cook a lot, but this is gonna save my life. So HelloFresh is a meal delivery service. So in this box, there's a recipe and all its ingredients and they come pre-measured so you don't even have to do it yourself. It's the future, you guys. There are three plants to choose from, the classic, the veggie, and the family plan. I chose the veggie because I just don't like eating meat that often. I'm not vegetarian or vegan. This is vegetarian, so I think it may contain like dairy, but no meat at all. So let's open it and see what's inside. I'm so excited and so hungry. Suddenly my energy like spiked when I got food. Each recipe takes like 30 minutes or less to cook, which is also amazing. This is actually making me so excited to cook. Ah! Oh my God. There's an apron. Yes. Okay. Yes. I am official. Mama's about to cook some delicious food for the both of us. Do you like my apron? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So this box is for two people. I am making the grilled cheese and veggie jumble. So it comes in a little bag like this and all the ingredients are inside. It comes labeled, so this one says grilled cheese and veggie jumble. Here we have some cilantro, grape tomatoes, ooh, grilling cheese, Mediterranean style, garlic, two sweet potatoes, a red onion, an avocado, thanks, a lemon, some cumin, I think that's how you say that, and a Thai chili, I'm intimidated, look at this thing. Oh, I feel like such a chef right now. Like this is so official, this apron, oh my God. All right, first things first, it says wash and dry all produce. I did. I preheated my oven to 425 degrees. I mean, it's still preheating. So now I'm supposed to peel the sweet potatoes and cut it into half inch cubes. To be honest, you guys, I suck at cutting potatoes like in cubes, but we're gonna wing it. And I'm gonna do that over there. I don't have another camera to set up over there, so you guys are just gonna have to like, I don't know. Just wait a sec. Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to peel them first. Yeah, peel sweet potatoes again. I'm gonna peel the sweet potatoes first. All right, now that these potatoes look like naked mole rats, I'm gonna attempt to cut them into cubes. All right, I think I did a pretty good job at cutting them into cubes. This isn't all of it. There's more back there, but just so you guys can see. I'm proud of myself. So now these go onto the baking sheet. So now I'm supposed to have and peel the onion and cut it into half inch wedges. I also don't know how to cut onions. Can you tell I don't cook? All right, it's tabbed. Now to peel. This onion is so pretty, like it's prettier than me. Oh God, don't cry, okay, don't cry. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, I don't know how to cut onions into wedges. This is like a complete fail, but it's okay because it's gonna taste the same. Okay, so now the onions go in with the potatoes. It says add a drizzle of olive oil and a pinch of salt and pepper. Yeah, that's not a pinch. And then you toss, this is so satisfying. And now this goes in the oven for 25 minutes, tossing halfway through. And then while that is making, I'm gonna prep everything else. I'm supposed to have the tomatoes. Tomatoes are halved. That's such a weird word. Finally chopped the cilantro. All right, so the cilantro is chopped and now I'm supposed to mince the garlic. Where'd the garlic go? 
thankfully I have my handy dandy garlic mincer. Alright, so I have my teaspoon of garlic and now it's time to have the lemon. There goes that word again. And now for the avocado. So I actually am not a huge fan of avocado, so I don't know how to cut it. I have never had to do this before. Here's my avocado. Now we peel it and cut it into cubes. Here it is. I'm not completely useless. Alright, I just tossed my potatoes and onions because it was halfway through. And now I'm going to cut these avocados into cubes. I don't know if I'll add them to my bowl because I don't really like avocados so I'm gonna try it without the avocados first but I'll definitely give these to Mateo because I know avocados are really good for you so now I'm supposed to mince the chili and remove the ribs and seeds first all right so this is how my chili turned out I removed the seeds and just kind of cut it I don't know if I'm supposed to cut it even like into smaller pieces okay so I made the chimichurri it actually looks nothing like the picture because I accidentally threw away the remaining cilantro so I had to use some of the cilantro that was in my bowl but this was made with cilantro cumin garlic a little tiny bit of chili some lemon and some olive oil and now season with salt and pepper now that the sweet potatoes are almost done I'm gonna fry the cheese this is like the part that I've been waiting for this entire time so I am gonna bring you guys over to my stove so you can see me frying the cheese all right it is cheese frying time I cut my cheese into slices like this and now I am heating up some olive oil to fry my cheese in here we go My camera's overheating, so I will show you guys the cheese when it is done. So here is the finished cheese, and now we plate. Here is the finished product. It looks so pretty with all the colors. And now for my favorite part of it all, and the part that I have been waiting for, the taste test. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Who would have thought this would all taste so good together? Like... I love this box because you can step out of your comfort zone. Like, you can try things that you would have never thought to make. Oh my god, it's so good. I love sweet potatoes so much. I'm gonna finish this off camera. Mm. Oh my god, you guys, that was amazing. It's a couple hours later. I went into a little food coma and then I started cleaning my kitchen because I made a huge mess. If you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh, head over to HelloFresh. Dot com. I mean, it delivers right to your door. You don't even have to leave your house, and it's so easy. I, like, I cannot say enough good things about it. Make sure to click my link in the description box and use code Jillian30 for $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. All right, guys, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Jelly Beans.